Uh, it's my great pleasure to introduce uh, my friend and colleague and partner, Ed Moses. Uh, Ed not only built NIF, but more importantly provided the intellect and the management to make the miracles of NIF come true. He built the partnerships that have been required for success. He provided the vision and the inspiration for the thousands of people who dedicated their talents to NIF. And he worked tirelessly to make sure that NIF is indeed an international miracle. Thanks, Ed. You know, uh, I just want, when I look out over this, uh, the throngs of us who are here, I go back to a question that was asked to me many times as we planned for this event. Who would come and why would they? And, and, I, and I say this in the, the most serious way. We are celebrating not NIF, not what we're about to do with the NIF, but this formation of a community of communities that understood what grand challenges are, how they can be taken on, what you can do with them as a team to make great things happen. And if you look around, whether on the stage, you know, whether in the people next to you, the people around you, you will see all of these communities that came together. They formed and began forming 50 years ago, literally in 1960, with the idea of the creation of the laser with the creation of inertial confinement fusion. You know, what this lab was, take on tremendous problems that the world needs to solve. It took, as George said, people from DOE, then NNSA, and administration after administration to see the purpose that we were, we were in, in the process of doing. It took our Congress on both sides of the aisle and sort of the unsung heroes of the, process, of the Congress, you know, all the staffers, who were with us behind the scenes, asking the difficult questions, demanding the hard answers, making sure that we're getting the story correct. I think it took all of our local, our county, Bay Area, state, and federal government you know, agencies that sometimes you're happy they're here, sometimes you're not happy they're here, but I always understood them to be asking the questions that had to be answered. You know, it also took our national labs. We've, we've worked with many national labs in the Office of Science and, the, and in the Defense Program Labs, academic partners around the country and around the world, industrial partners. Think about it, 3,000 separate industrial entities worked on NIF during its time, you know, from the most major uh, uh, architectural and engineering firms to literally machine shops that had some specialty, specialty somewhere in the country that we needed. We didn't never thought of them as vendors. We thought of them as our partners. And we covered 49 out of 50 states before we were done. And then finally, and I think most importantly, our international friends and collaborators from all over Europe and Asia, particularly the United Kingdom, particularly France and Japan, who were with us all the time pushing this technology forward, pushing these ideas forward. But I think the most important, as George said, are friends and colleagues at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. You know, every single person in this laboratory, in one way or another, contributed somehow to this great event, either because they were working on it directly, they were working on it in support, or because of all the capabilities collectively we have. You know, when we were at the symposium yesterday, there was this question of why could this laboratory do this? And the answer is because it's an incredibly unique collaboration and coll collection of talents that exists nowhere else on earth that could take on these problems, has the skill, the stamina, the capability to make this all real. And, you know, that culture was inculcated in me in 1980 when I first walked in the door. I felt it immediately. I knew it then. I still know it now. And why are we here? Why is this community here? Because we're taking on the grandest, uh, one of the grandest grand challenges. And that's a lot of grands, but it's true. Can you bring star power to Earth? You know, people have been dreaming about this for many years. If you think about all our mythology going back to Stonehenge and further, you know, it is all about the sun. 
Do we understand the sun? Can we make the sun our friend? Our, all of life comes from the sun. That's the wellspring. Can we bring it to, to here and so we can use it? I think the answer is we can. We get all kinds of things with it. Strategic security without nuclear testing, energy security without carbon, intellectual leadership on the cutting edge of science. Pretty good run. I think that's a nice thing to have. You know, today, it's amazing, is the 12th anniversary, May 29th, of the groundbreaking of the NIF. You know, there's a lot of things that have happened since then. You know, some, some difficult, mostly very exciting. And here we are, ready to launch off on our future. I just can't thank all of you enough in this greater community for everything that we've done together and for allowing me to be a part of it. After all, I'm a newcomer to this community. I've only been in it in 10 years. But, you know, maybe 10 years from now, I'll feel f fully a part of it. And all of us will be moving on and thinking about the great things that we've done together for our nation, for our country, for our species. I think that's where we're all going. Thank you so much.